Hey guys, it's Eve here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to accept payments through Go High Level forms. And I'm not talking about order forms. Just so you know, I'm just talking about the normal forms in Go High Level. So they launched this new feature where you can accept payments through Go High Level forms. It could be a Go High Level product that you create under payments, or it could be a custom amount that the user, whoever is submitting the form, can fill the amount and then add their card details and do the payment. So let's go to sites and then go to forms. I'm going to go to one of my folders to create the forms to keep it separate. The test ones, I'm going to create a new form here and we could call it accept payments. Now, this is the form template, right? So you can add all the fields you need, like first name, last name, phone number, email, uh, age, date of birth anything you want and once you're done adding all the fields that you need all you need to do is create or add a new element that says payment so I'll just drag it here and click on this so I can do some edits on this uh, the label is payment so I could first of all I'll change the label make payment and if you want to put a short label you could do this but I'm, I'm not doing it uh, footer info it, it's really important that you do something like 100% secure and safe payments. So I'll, I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to make it hidden, but you can do it if you want. Uh, also, the layout can be changed. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep it simple. Now, this is in test mode right now, right? So you can use test cards to check if the form submit works and, you know, all those stuff related to automations. But once you go live, you have to make this toggle in live mode. Now, one more thing is... The payment type there are actually two types of payments you could take the first one is adding an existing product so what i'm talking about is if you go under payments you go to pro products and then you can add a new product because you connected your stripe account so once you create a product that product is going to be created on stripe as well and then you can add that product to the go High level form so you know people can make payment for that product or actually buy that product right but what you can also do in this form is you can add a custom or you can add a preset amounts additionally you could also ask the user to put an amount like if, if let's say this is not a payment this is a donation right so make donation and now instead of a product because donation could be any any amount and now i'm going to say custom amount you can obviously uh here suggest an amount like 4.99 5.99 9.99 or you could do 11.99 so keep adding the amounts or if they want to put any other amount like a custom amount like one dollar two dollar any kind of amount they could just click on this real quick and put their amount and then add their card details so if i save this that's the custom amount so we could do either products or we could do custom amounts so if i go to the preview of this so i could select any of these quickly right but also i could put an additional amount like 2.99 right and then i could just add my card details and i'm ready to go just plain and simple right and regarding automation you could if you are using sell products and adding a product let's say i'm adding a product in here so i'm adding a product and no custom amounts are allowed here in this form you could do either one now, if you are talking about automation or if you're thinking about setting up automation for this form, you could do either form submitted in Go High Level. So like uh, if I go to automation, if I go to tests and just go to one of my existing workflows. So let's say I'm trying to set up an automation for this form submit. What happens when they submit this form? The initial trigger could be form submitted and I could just select the form here form is uh, accept payments that's all or if you're using products in the form payment you could just say instead of uh, form submitted you could just say payment received that's for just products right if you are using custom amounts that's not possible to do it this way so I'm gonna ju just say I'm using this product and then do the automation send them a remind uh, send them a confirmation that payment received get a notification yourself you know all those all those stuff so you could do uh using this just send the email uh or so you could do this 
and also you can do internal notification to yourself add tags all those automations right so that's that's how you actually accept payments for through go high level forms so it could be either a custom amount or a pre-built product inside go high level so hope this video was useful and i will see you in the next one thank you Thank you.